As you all know, Google TV Home doesn't have a recent apps feature. That means you can't open the task manager to view or close recently used apps. This feature was removed in recent updates, but today we're going to fix that. To enable the recent apps function, we need to install an app from the Google Play Store called TV Quick Action and configure it. So sit back and get comfortable. Let's begin. First, we need to install TV Quick Action from the Google Play Store. Go to the Apps section, then open the search bar, type in TV, and start the search. You'll see the TV Quick Action app in the search results here. Install it. Now let's configure the Recent Apps function. Open TV Quick Action and go through the initial setup. Make sure to follow everything exactly as shown on my screen. Grant permission to draw over other apps. Allow usage access. Disable battery optimization. Once that's done, go back into the app and continue the configuration. Next, enable accessibility services for the app. Now that all necessary permissions are granted, the TV Quick Action app menu should appear. Go into the app settings, then to the ADB section. If developer mode is not yet enabled on your TV box, go to settings greater than system, greater than, about greater than build. Number click it several times until you enable developer mode, then go back one step, Open the developer options and enable USB debugging. This is essential. Make sure USB debugging is turned on. Now return to the TV Quick Action app, go to ADB settings and turn on all the toggles. Once that's done, go back to the main menu and open the buttons and action section. There's a default button listed. Leave it as is. Scroll down and add a custom button. In my case, I'll use the Prime Video button. Now the current button is assigned as F8. Set the action type. This means what will happen when I press this button. Now we need to activate recent apps. Choose an action, for example, up or left button. Do not choose the OK button, it can't be modified. I'll use the up button, tap on it. If you're using Google TV Home, the recent apps menu won't work right away. So go to the special section, scroll down and find recent apps. Select it. Now return to the Google TV Home main screen and try to open recent apps. When I press the Prime Video button, the TV Quick Action icon appears. Now when I press the Up button on the D-pad, the Recent Apps menu opens. As you can see, it's working. Let's close an app and test again. Launch TV Quick Action. And now you can see there are no active apps. That means the setup works correctly. So that was a quick tutorial on how to restore the Recent Apps feature in Google TV Home. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. See you in the next one. Goodbye.